Hello YouTube. How y'all doing? Well, I don't like to make videos like this, but I pretty much have to on this one. There's a video that's coming that will be on this webpage. It's not fully rendered and uploaded as of yet. And this page is not published at the moment. It will be shortly. This video that I'm making will be there. And that one. And several others. Um, do y'all see... Now, I, I just want to bring to your attention, you know, on the radio show that we had last night. Uh, the website was down and this morning the website is still down um, we we know why um, but it was kind of funny that they pulled it at just about five minutes till the radio show and it's kind of curious to me that they done it that way, but hey, neither here nor there. Not trying to create a conspiracy about it, but it is kind of strange. And do y'all see? Remember all the things that we've talked about on the radio show and my videos that I've made. Do you see the 3D imagery right here in the middle of the floor and it actually is circling? Remember I said, told y'all before that, you know, your watch is going to just be your computer one day. Well, we've got a watch that works off your telephone now. Well, how long is it going to be before your watch is your computer? And you touch a button on it, and a screen pops up, and you can do your computer in. Hmm. It ain't going to be too far off. Not with what you see in the middle of your screen right here. Sorry about the bird. It's raining outside, and she's singing. She just wants to talk to everybody. And this story is pretty much about these little triangles. Okay. And you got the triangles here. Okay. And then the story, and there's another one. But the biggest thing is, is Obama doesn't wear one here. That's what this story is about. But I'm adding to this story because there's a lot more that needs to be said. Why does Obama not wear it? Well, in the video that you're going to see, Obama states in that video that he's worried about a false flag attack in New York. Um, a nuclear war, a nuclear bomb, a dirty bomb. And in the summit that they had here, they actually were talking about nuclear war games, as you see right here. And if you click on this link, it'll take you to this page. Okay. Now, it is entirely up to y'all to do your due diligence. Think about what's being said and to know in your heart what's right and what's wrong. Now, in this title, I was going to say New World Order Assholes. Well, some of them may not be. So I took that out of the title. But I just don't know which ones are other 
than the phony president of the United States. And I say phony because of his illegal access to being president to start with, and that's his birth certificate, and his social security card, and his, you know, passports, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on, about all the different things that's wrong with his being legal to be the president of the United States to start with. Now, we're talking about things about this right here and this pyramid, but if you come back to this video that you see right here, this is a lady that family's television box got hacked. And this is a newscaster or a reporter here. She's at her house and you can see the shock on her face at this present time with her seeing what is being said on the screen why they're even there. Now whether it happened, how it happened, I don't know. I'm not trying to prove it or not prove it. But people, it's up to you. Oh yeah, and this is about the birth certificate too, if you want to see it. Uh, Sheriff O'Powell, Joe O'Powell, however you want to say his name. The sheriff that investigated Obama's birth certificate, that they hush. They keep quiet. The mainstream media won't pick it up. But yet, Sheriff O'Powell is generally in the mainstream media all the time. He's very popular until it comes to the birth certificate. And then they don't say nothing. They just come out with newscast to block him out. Now, folks, I say that this is an event, a false flag coming, question mark. And I don't know, folks. What do you think? You see it right here. Nuclear war games. <clears throat> and they are. They did. Do the little war gaming questionnaires that they filled out and stuff like that. They're playing with our lives with their games. You know, I'm saving the best for last. I really am. This man right here made a wonderful video before he died. He really did. And I've had it up for a very long time. And I've got it up on two channels. And as long as I possibly can, it'll always be on my channel. Somehow, some way. If there's any way possible. And you know, this will as well too. As long as there's a will and a way. The District of Columbia, the Organic Act of 1871. Now for those of you that want to tell me that there's more. I know there's more. And some of the things that some of the people that have told me about state sovereigns. I, I understand that too. And you are partially correct. But I don't have the documentation. And the person that I'm talking to that sent me that information. The person that you sent me to doesn't show documentation either. And I don't put up stuff that don't have documentation. And I haven't been able to find it as of yet. It will come when I find it. But I have a lot of other stuff to back this up. Not just a document. And this is fact. This ain't a dream. 
And this ain't bullshit. Your country is a corporation. <clears throat> and the District of Columbia doesn't belong to the United States. It's a corporate entity. It belongs to the crown. Sorry, folks. It does. Now, folks, I've said in several videos, several, that we the people can cripple them if we want. I talked a little bit about it last night on the radio show, and yet the radio show is still not up. And I am going to take the radio show and put the link here as well. So you can hear it when I can. It may take a day or two, or maybe later on this afternoon or night or whenever I can download it. I can't do that as of yet. And there's a lot of scenarios going on about a lot of different things. This people that giving away free money. Really? People in your heart and your soul I want you to think about free money. There's no such thing as free money. You're going to earn it one way or another. Even if you're tricked into thinking it's free. The only way you generally get free money is if you inherited it from your mother or your father or an uncle or aunt. Someone that really loves you and cares for you. But as far as getting free money from anyone else, it's just not going to happen. It just ain't going to happen. The human race has not evolved far enough yet to be able to do that. We are still playing and fighting each other over the smallest little things in this world. We are literally fighting with guns, antique weapons, guns, uh, bombs, planes. We got radio frequency waves that we still don't Half the population don't believe that exist. They talk about nuclear weapons, false flags over New York. Well, they also have the equipment and the technology to destroy that before it ever got there. Yes, they do. They have the technology to disintegrate it before it ever got there. But why do they completely scare the people literally to death at any given moment or any given time? I'll tell you why. Because they don't like you finding out about the District of Columbia, the Organic Act 1871. They want to hide this from you. They've been hiding it from you for 143 years. And as long as they can, they will continue to do so. As long as they can confuse you with mainstream media and everything else. Pierce Morgan come out and made a beautiful speech that he's leaving. His broadcast because they kicked him off because of him coming out about the Second Amendment. And he says how the Second Amendment bullied you. No. They didn't bully you about the Second Amendment. They started their organization and incorporated their situation, their company, or however you want to call it, 
on the Act of 1871, they incorporated that same year. They incorporated on the Act on 1871. They incorporated themselves because they knew if they didn't do that, there wasn't wouldn't be any gun rights in this country, and they were right. It's up to us people to know the law. It's also up to us to defend ourselves. There will come a time in life, somewhere along the line, that people itself will evolve. We're not there yet. There's people out there that give you the thing where you're supposed to be um, enlightened. Well, it ain't here yet, folks. As long as you hear tales of war and fighting and guns and shooting and rape and murder, you're always going to have this. Now, if we can get beyond that and get away from the sickening and disgusting drugs that are embedded in your brain, and I'm talking about, I'm not talking about stuff for, I'm just talking about medicines that they give you that have mercury in it, things that are destroying people's minds. Y'all all seen my leg. I went to a doctor about my legs before it got infected. And he says, well, you, you inherited it. Well, that wasn't true. But that's what he told me. Uh, it may have been an inheritance type thing. I'm not saying that exactly. But what I am saying is this. He offered me a pill because I'm in that age range, okay? And says, I says, well, what does the pill do? He says, well, it cuts the, the sensation off to your brain. And I went into a little bit more detail. I says, so what you're saying is it makes me forget? Well, yeah, that's what it does. I says, well, why would I want to, what else does it make you forget? Do you see my point, people? Some people go to the doctor, and no disrespect, some people go to the doctor and they get all kinds of pills for every little thing that happens to them. And I'm going to be quite honest with you. Some of those pills are doing things to you that you don't have no idea. Some of them even give you warning signs that you could die. You're almost better off not taking anything. You probably die healthier than if you was to take all of that medicine. And I don't mean it in a disrespect to anyone. But folks, I've been talking a long time. And I've said a lot. I just hope that when y'all come over here to this page and you see the other videos that are going to be here everything that's on this page and you put yourself in the place that you need to be to really educate yourself on your sovereignty rights before the new world order takes your sovereign rights away from you. Don't think that this pyramid that you see right here is for you folks. Because it's not. It's for their 
democracy. We all know what democracy is. The 51% rule. And if you have rich and you have poor, then if you got 51% of the population that is rich and you got 50% of the people that are poor, who controls with a democracy, folks? You're right, the 51%, which is the rich, the greedy, the hungry, the ones that don't care if you starve. They've already showed that in their lives as they live as of now. Like the one that just told a reporter that to go F himself. Yeah, he told him to go F himself about the Second Amendment. So you think about it, folks. You think about it long and hard. Do you want to be free? Do you want to be a slave? Do you want to just lay down and say whatever's going to happen is going to happen? Yeah, it's going to happen. If you sit there on your laziness and don't care and you want to have another pop or another beer or another popcorn or uh, whatever and watch your groove tube, yeah, it's going to happen. And people that want to be free, like a bunch of people, but there's not enough of them paying attention. Most everybody wants to be free. But the ones of you that aren't paying attention, you're the ones that's messing it up for the whole world. Not just the United States, because when the United States completely falls, we all fall. Then that triangle is what you're going to live by. The New World Order and their pyramid scheme. And it's going to be a democracy of rule. So whoever's leading the country at the time, or the world at the time, screaming democracy, you're in trouble, people. You just don't even know. That's a word that should be stricken from the United States school books and everything else, in my opinion. That's a word that should be stricken around the world because the democracy is 51%. Look it up if you don't believe me. I'm not lying to you. Don't want to lie to you. Because if I lied to you, then, you know, you wouldn't trust me. And I don't want you to really trust me. I want you to do your own research. It's all about freedom, folks. And about our sovereignty rights. It's up to you. It's up to me. It's up to your children your children's children to maintain our sovereignty rights. We didn't know for a long time that we lost our rights. Now that we've know we lost our sovereignty rights, it's time to get it back, folks. Even if even if we can't get the whole country to do it at one time. But if we do it once and if we just get 50% of the country to stay home for one day, just 50%, the next time it might be 60%. The next time it might be 75 The next time it might even be 100 Well, it won't never get 100 because you got them few that's in Congress and the Senate that don't want to deal with it. They'll go to work. 
but you got at least if you can get 90 percent to stay at home then you've won we've won and they know we've won if you don't give them money that they're stealing from you to start with for a day or two days they know that you're awake and if they know that you're awake they can't stop us the rule of freedom will reign that's all I can tell you folks if we keep playing the rabbit hole game and chasing the rabbit one day that rabbit's gonna turn around and it's just gonna swallow us all up because one day the rabbit hole is going to become a monster so with that folks much love to y'all y'all have a great day and remember from my cold dead hands <laughs>